Hello. Now that you're a certified SolidWorks associate, what do you want to do with it? Well, first of all, it's probably going to be used as a tool to get a job, so you could always have a physical copy of it ready. You could include it with your resume or have a virtual copy of it ready to send out with resumes and on your online resume if you like. And you can, as an option, put it in a published directory. And what Tangex does, what uh, the virtual tester does, is it allows you to put uh, that, uh, you know, your information into a directory. So, here's a directory. If you go to the virtualtester.com forward slash SolidWorks, it should take you to this page. This page will give you the virtual, uh, the SolidWorks portion of the Virtual Tester website. There's a couple buttons here you want to look at. First of all, let's go to the Certified Users. If you go to the Certified Users and select the, the category they like, maybe the CSWA, select the country, and we'll go down to the United States by typing in U, and then for the state we'll type in W to get Washington right away. It should give us all of our certified SOLIDWORKS associates. There are a couple people from my previous classes that you might find. In fact, there is one person from this class, Mr. Schuhart. He's already in the directory. And uh, Austin Spangrude and uh, Mr. Spirey, Jonathan Spirey from a couple years ago, were also in the directory. So you too can be in the directory. And if you remember Mr. Donahue, Alexander Donahue, uh, he came in a little bit late on Saturday and he took his test too and passed. So there you have it. That's, that's the directory, how do you get in on the directory? Well, what you want to do is you want to log in. When you click on the login button, you get ask for your email address. What you want to do is put in the email address uh, that you used uh, in the Tangex software uh, when you first uh, started the, the program in the CAD lab on Saturday. And you want to remember, I'm certain everybody wrote it down, you want to remember that eight digit number that it gave you. And it asked you, you remember, did you write it down? And of course you said yes, even though you didn't. But that's uh, the number you want. That's who you want to put there, that in in the password. Of course, if you've got to write it down, you can always recover the virtual tester password, and I'll send it to you after uh, a little bit of work. So then go to login, and once you do, once you go to login, oh, it doesn't like that. Okay. What it's going to give you in the bottom are some settings. Go down to your settings. And uh, if you want to be listening on the online, direct, online directory, go to yes. If you know, opt, in, opt in on emails, it gives uh, somebody else the opportunity to see your email with your certificate and be able to send you some emails uh, in regard to whatever they might be looking for. You can go ahead and do that too. So click yes and yes. And then go to update information. And then you should be in pretty good shape. So congratulations on your certificate. And uh, we will see you in class.